China is nowadays leading this industry and is producing more and more clean and renewable energies. This huge factory is now manufacturing some of the turbines that will help to achieve for China the carbon neutral goal for the upcoming years. Let me try to capture those ones over there. You can see those kind of small plates. Well, they're not that small. Today, China is the world's leading country in electricity production from renewable energy sources, with over triple the generation of the second-ranking country, the United States. I am today at the China Three Gorges Corporation, a Chinese state-owned power company that was responsible for the construction of the Three Gorges Dam project, the world's largest hydroelectric power plant that was completed in 2006. Hello everyone and today we are at the Three Gorges Corporation here in Fujian province and today we're going to visit the different areas of this huge industrial park. Today we're going to learn some of the biggest records that this uh, corporation is breaking currently when it comes to green and clean energies. China is nowadays leading this industry and is producing more and more clean and renewable energies in order to satisfy China's huge demand for energy. So let's go around and check what this industrial park is about. China Three Gorges Corporation is the country's largest clean energy group and is now developing wind power since 2007 and solar power since 2011. China is committed to reach their offshore wind ambitions, and some of the most incredible projects include a wind farm completed in late June 2021 in the Yellow Sea of Jiangsu province. It is the country's largest offshore wind power plant yet, and this new plant is expected to reduce 1.46 million tons of CO2 of China's annual emissions. Dongfang Electric, this huge factory, is now manufacturing some of the turbines that will help to achieve for China the carbon neutral goal for the upcoming years. And you can see this giant plant is already under work producing more and more turbines to extend all around China. China relies heavily on coal which emits carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. But the nation is shifting away from fossil fuels in a bid to become carbon neutral by 2060. In 2020, China's offshore wind farm installations grew 27.8%, outpacing the Netherlands and Belgium. Now, half of the world's offshore wind farm generated powers come from China. amazing artifacts, incredible machines we are seeing here. The future belongs to green energy, the future belongs to clean energies and China is leading now the world producing world-class electricity and world-class energy when it comes to green and clean. All these projects are key to the future. Most of these farms are already in operation this will be directed to several highly populated regions, meeting the basic annual power demand for a huge population. And ladies and gentlemen, we are coming right now to the Dongfang Electric Factory. Yes, this is the place where all these huge turbines are manufactured. These turbines are all designed and fabricated by Dongfang, right in place. All these industrial parks are using these huge turbines to create electricity, green and clean electricity for the whole Chinese electric grid.
With a coastline of 18,000 kilometers, we could say that China has a huge advantage when it comes to offshore wind power. The nation also has an available sea area of over 3 million square kilometers. The offshore landscape is largely found in Guangdong and other coastal provinces, including the one I'm visiting today, Fujian province. Because of their design and fabricated here in place, they are just places all around, the coast is lower, which means they're easier to maintain because all the components are also made in place. You can see the size is huge. This industrial park is in charge to create certain amount of kilowatts per year in order to achieve the carbon neutral goal that China has for the upcoming years. As you can see, this is a huge place where they are right now displaying all the turbines and all this humongous park is in charge of fabricating these turbines that are part of this park. This is a park that is creating energy, not just for the Chinese grid. They're also selling uh, kilowatts of energy to countries like the UK, Turkey and Ethiopia to satisfy the demand of electricity of these countries. Chinese industry is looking forward to moving wind power generation into deep sea to open up more space for development. But developing deep sea wind energy requires wind turbines that are able to withstand typhoons and other stream weather conditions at sea. The world's first typhoon resistant floating offshore wind turbine is found in Guangdong province, where farms began generating electricity at the end of 2022. You come to this place and you never imagine how many hours and how much effort it takes to create, design and develop and manufacture these huge artifacts here. And now China is reaching such a huge level of development that they can design their own products in order to satisfy their own demand for electricity. China continues to explore and develop the wind power technology, pursuing its ambition to emerge as an important benchmark in the global push for progress. And sometimes you see on, on the sea or in the mountains these huge turbines with these super big blades and they seem to be not that big. Actually, you can see in my back, let me try to capture those ones over there. You can see those kind of small plates. Well, they're not that small. Some of them can reach a diameter of more than 200 meters from one point to the other. And in the middle, you see these huge turbines over here behind me. Those are the little dots in the middle that make the turbines move and actually capture and process the energy produced by these uh, blades. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.